today we're going to be making Percy's Gauntlet based off of Alien First Design. So Percy from Critical Role, let's get started. So we're going to start with the gauntlet that we made before in the previous video. Um, if you're working off the previous video first and then customizing the gauntlet based off of that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to cut this gauntlet in half. I'm just going to cut along the seams because there's no point in having that done. Um, the one gauntlet is going to act as both gauntlets. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold it like this and make a small incision there, hold it on the other side so that it's the make a small incision there and then connect the two. So just a straight, clean cut across. And there you got the two pieces. So because of, because um, Percy's gauntlet is bare on the one side and has a roof to it on the other side. So we're gonna start by cutting out the base shape of this. So it's straight along the top edge, the one closest to the wrist. So I need to make sure that it's perfectly straight instead of a little bit curved. Um, the bottom edge is kind of a wavy-ish area, so I'm going to cut it like this, add the little bump that it's supposed to have. There we go, it's on one side. And then for the other side, hold it up like this to make sure that it matches. There we go. Now we have the stencil, a slight stencil on the other side so that it matches. There we go. So we have the shape for Percy's um, thing so that we can make the other side the same. We're going to have to um, use this as a stencil. So flattening it like this, holding it out, and then drawing the stencil so that it'll end up being the same once it's cut out. Now we're going to dremel along the edges make sure that it's perfectly smooth. I'm um, still a flat edge. We're not rounding it off. We're just smoothing. We're just taking stuff like these little little bumps here out of the edges. Um, always remember to wear your protective mask so that the dust particles don't get into your um, lungs. If you don't have um, glasses, I suggest wearing safety goggles as well just so that the dust doesn't get in your eyes. on both sides you can see how it's a lot smoother than it was before went around the whole thing including the glued side the glue side still looks a little bit rough but when you run your hand along it's smooth it's just the glue itself that remains from it looks rough on the backs of this so this goes like here how it's supposed to go um on this part, there's a raised section that has a mechanism on it. We're going to be making the raised section by doubling up on crack foam. So basically, so for this, it needs to be, the raised section goes up to about, about here and follows the curvature of the gauntlet itself. And it goes, past the end, so, so there is the raised section and this is how I measured it, is just basing it off of this. It's supposed to show a little bit more along the edges, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this a tad smaller, tad smaller, um, might want to make, so since this is on a slant, we're going to want to make this on a slant as well. So I'll make one side slanted and to make sure that it's even on both sides, just fold it over. It matches up so I don't have to I don't have to cut it anymore. But if it didn't match up, you'd have to continue cutting it so that both sides were even. Now this side needs a semicircle on it. Just the corner cut out like that. And then again, you just fold it over. So now we've got this, this piece in the shape 
that um, that it's shown in the picture. What we want to do is we want to cut out one more of those. So we're gonna use this, the black pen again, to trace it, to trace along long it. Okay, so there we traced it, and you can see the outline there. And we'll just cut that out, and we'll continue using more craft foam to cut a third one out. Now the reason why we need a third one is because um, there's a border to the to Percy's inside wrist guard. So it's um, the exterior is raised a little bit. So what we're or the exterior is um, yeah the exterior is raised a bit or lowered depending on how you look at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Um, we're gonna layer the craft foam. I'm actually gonna cut out a fourth one of it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold these in half and we're gonna cut along the edges because what happens in on these is that the borders of them are raised and we're gonna raise it by making a sec by using a second thing of craft foam. So the inside piece is kind of useless at this point. What we're going to be using is the outside piece here. And how we're going to be using it is we're going to be layering it up like this so that it has a nice depth to it. Okay, from here you're going to want to again use a mask. Do this in a well ventilated room. Um, I turned off my air ventilation just so that I could talk to you guys. But when I'm um, letting the, so right now we're gonna be gluing stuff. So when I'm letting the glue dry, I'm going to want to turn the ventilation back on. You should be using gloves when using contact cement. I don't have any good ones right now, so I'm not using gloves. Do not do that. Use gloves. It's important. It's worth it. I just have really steady hands. So like, I don't have to worry about it. Speaking of steady hands, Use a paintbrush, just a cheap dollar store one, or um, or if you have time and you're willing to wait to order in like just a um, one from Red Moon Cosplay, they sell them for like less than a dollar for a acid resistant paint um, paintbrush that you can use again and again for to apply contact cement, and it's not gonna like um, stick together like a, like a regular paintbrush will. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply contact cement to the borders of one side of the borders and to the outer edge of this, glue it together, and then you'll want to apply contact cement to the, ins to the outside of this and to the outside of this and glue them together. Okay, so now this is done. I bought a light from the dollar store that's round. I'll, um, when you press it, it lights up. Right now paint is drying on it, so I'm not gonna show it to you, but I'll show it to you later when the paint dries. Um, there are ways to do lighting yourself without having to just go to the dollar store, but like, um, I'll show lighting in a different tutorial. For now, we're just sticking with the basics. Namely, this is dry now. It's all put together, the three layers of paint are done. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach these to the inside. So there's supposed to be three of those on the inside of the gauntlets. So I'm going to make them now. So for the um, for the buckles, for the thing, I bought leather straps from the store and I'm using it as straps. I'm also using these buckles that I got from Red Moon Cosplay to secure it. So it'll go like this, and I'll loop it around, put cement glue on that end, put cement glue on that end, and stick it together, and it will be a hard hold. So this is kind of how they're painted up, and when it's dry, I'll just fold it over like that, so it has a nice sleek finish to it. Okay, so you can see that I folded them over like that. And what I did was I, I have it set up like this. 
so I looped, I cut slits right along the edges here. Just, just regular slits. Like all, you can kind of see the slits there. Mine are very messy slits because I was using scissors because I couldn't find my X-Acto knife. But you should use an X-Acto knife just to cut a very sleek slit there. Um, even if it's not sleek, it's really not going to be noticeable. And then they just feed underneath like this and attach like, uh, I'll show you with one complete. So they attach like this. So you might have to get someone to help you put it on, but there you go. The buckle will stay strong against your skin because um, you'll tighten it and this part will be taut against your skin. And that is basically um, how you make the base for Percy's gauntlet. I'm going to um, show you how to add the flavor bits to it um, after I paint it. So you obviously paint it without these belts buckles on because you don't want to get paint on these leather straps or pleather straps. But um, so, so you just paint the gauntlets as they are here. You just cut in the um, cut in the slits first before you paint. So at this point, we're gonna take this. Um, what I did was I carved a hole throughout this entire thing, and then I shoved the light that I got from the dollar store into the middle of it. What I'm gonna do is take this um, gray foam play that I have from Lumen's workshop. Got it on Red Moon Cosplay, and I'm going to put it in the crack. So you see how I made the hole too big because I made them with scissors. So how I can correct that mistake is I can put the foam play through the thing, and when the foam play dries, it dries into EVA foam that you can even um, sand with um, normal sandpaper. So you don't even need like. To use a drum to sand it, which is really nice because I am really not great with a dremel, but I'm the first one to admit that. Okay, you can see how I added the lumens foam play to the edges there, and then when it dries, it'll dry in the EVA foam, which I can paint, so it'll basically have a look like this where the light if you press it will turn on and it'll have like a nice finish to it I'm really excited for this so these are kind of the final results of the Percy gauntlets I added some flavor here just hot glue gunned it in just to show you like it's just flavor bits that you don't need to do but you can if you want to they light up this lights up but again, it's all just kind of flavor. Um, added some flavor beads there. So that's kind of how they look in the end. Accurate to the original design, sturdy, and they have a really nice, well finished. Uh, well finished. Um, if you want more tutorials and anything like that, Feel free to comment in the description below what you want to see in the future. I got most of my materials from Red Moon Cosplay, so go check that out. Links in the description. And just keep on creating. Like, have fun, guys. See ya.